Seasteading has been going on for decades and most people don't know about it. The, the, the United States was a giant raft where people from dysfunctional governments who thought they had better ideas could come and try their ideas out. They forged you know, new ways of living together that ended up changing the world. Um, imagine if we had uh, new frontiers where we could allow uh, social entrepreneurs to try out their ideas. Uh, the, the world is running out of fresh water. We're running out of farmland. Some people say we're reaching peak oil. Uh, a lot of these problems can be solved if we think about how to utilize the strengths of the sea. The most exciting thing about seasteading to me is uh, all the ideas that have not been thought of yet uh, and all the things we don't know about that, that are out there among seven billion brains as solutions to humanity's most pressing problems that can't be tried. So right now there's about 193 nations that just hold monopoly control over 7 billion people. And we don't think the 193 nations currently in existence represent the range of ideas uh, that could be tried out. And we want to unleash all the creativity of all the people out there in a sort of uh, research and development department out on the ocean where people can try out their ideas for governance and we can see what works. You know, developmental economists talk about how every time you start over with a new country, you're able to apply uh, more modern rules to, the, uh, to how countries develop. And if we look at the most uh, recent countries created in the last 50 years or so, uh, we see them applying more modern political theories and more modern economic theories to their founding. And many of these countries have gotten quite rich, prosperous, and humane very rapidly. Hong Kong is basically a defenseless little peninsula, an island, right next to this behemoth of China. Um, and w when uh, Hong Kong gained independence, uh, China didn't just seize it, China watched and observed, uh, was embarrassed by the amount of wealth created Hon in Hong Kong, um, adjusted its markets to be much more open, and since then at least a half billion uh, Chinese have escaped poverty uh, as a result of the example of Hong Kong. And we see examples like this all over the world. The United States hasn't invaded the Cayman Islands. Malaysia hasn't invaded Singapore. I mean, small island nations, uh, if they set a better example, uh, often change the course of large old nations. The bigger and larger a country, the more inertia it will experience and the, the smaller and newer the country, the more nimble it will be and the more likely it is to uh, try a new idea that's likely to work. Seasteaders are agnostic about what political systems are going to work in the future. Our goal is to create a Silicon Valley of the sea where lots of seasteads, hopefully thousands someday, uh, compete to attract residents and the best social systems uh, attract uh, the best people. Why not give your uh, political opponents a chance to try out their ideas on a seastead? You can laugh at the fiascos and you can learn something uh, if something surprising works. Uh, we think the inevitable result will be that solutions will emerge that uh, are not part of what we argue about now. I would love to see you know, uh, a socialist seastead trying out its ideas. I would love to see an anarcho-capitalist seastead trying out its ideas. I'd like to see um, political uh, systems I've never heard of and don't understand trying out their ideas. I'd like to see them attracting different types of people, different kinds of uh, uh, ideologues to different seasteads. And hopefully we'll create a diversity of political systems uh, suitable to different kinds of people with different kinds of values. Um, and in this uh, market of governance, we'll discover the best solutions for how to live together. We're perceiving that a, a proliferation of countries lead, leads to more solutions. I think if more people understand the power of seasteading uh, to solve problems they care about, I think we can really change the world.